what is the function of art and, and what is the purpose of art and is it only just to show beauty or pleasure I don't believe so I believe that art has to be challenging and it has to take us sometimes to dark places or to challenging places I, I felt like at this moment in time it was important to have a critical perspective on Canada What has it meant for Indigenous people over these last 150 years? What has colonization meant? And uh, this exhibition reflects on the, the intergenerational trauma of these cycles of, you know, the, these effects of colonialism in, in our communities. I grew up in Winnipeg. I lived near my Cree relatives. My grandmother had, had been uh, a student at, at a residential school. At the time, you know, growing up, I didn't really know much about what had happened to her. She didn't really talk about it. I realized that many of the things that had happened to her had an impact in our family. In the Urban Res series, there's a, quite a bit of tension between the predator and prey. The idea that um, Indigenous women are preyed upon. There's a theme that runs through that body of work that reflects on missing and murdered Indigenous women. And that ties back to the, um, that violence against the female nude. So I'm, I'm using the, the cubist kind of violent depiction of the female nude to talk about that violence. But I'm also in those paintings establishing a kind of tension between mythologies. So uh, indigenous spirituality and mythology in an urban environment, you know, and, and the, the tension or, or conflict between um, Christian beliefs and uh, the tension between the, the, the colonial policies that have institutionalized Indigenous people in many ways, whether it's in, uh, incarcerating Indigenous people or um, the beginning of the reserve system, uh, residential schools and so forth. So those themes run throughout uh, various chapters in this exhibition. Canada is going to be celebrated this year for being 150 years old, but I think it's important for Canadians to acknowledge the experience of Indigenous people. That's how we get reconciliation. It means that every, every Canadian uh, should, should understand and should have, you know, learn something more about um, the Indigenous experience because our foundational myths are flawed unless they incorporate these experiences into them, into our national mythology.